Hi there, everybody. How we doing? It's been a minute. Oh, I gotta change this. I've got a slightly different setup. So I've gotta like make sure that the, the camera actually finds me. There we go. There we go. He lives. He's back. How we doing, everybody? Starbuck, hello. Orpheus, hello. Gold Rogue, hello. In, in Toraqua, hello. Riley, hi. Mars Lesbian and Becca Terrier, hi. And Orpheus, hello. Fallen from Insanity, hello. Void Tea Time, hello. Uh, excellent. Cool. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, today, we are totally not a pumpkin. Welcome. Uh, today, we are going to play what I am slightly embarrassed to admit might be my favorite game of all time um and it's it's very dumb i'm not sure it's good becketaria thank you so much for the prime sub five months in a row thank you um it's a very silly game uh and also because i'm a, a complete dork about it uh we're playing it on the oh my god riley thank you seven months thank you for the prime sub um Oh no, I'm not. I'm not actually embarrassed for loving Sonic Adventure, which is what we're going to play today. Uh, but it's there are there are many ways in which it's bad, in which it's it's just very, very bad, and so as a result, uh, those are honestly some of my favorite parts. I've just grown with it that much. Um, but also because I'm a complete dork, I have to. Oh my God, Starbuck, thank you for the resub, hype train incoming. Ugh, I've been gone for. Two weeks. Feels like a million years. Um, we're playing this on an actual Dreamcast, which took me a year to fix, and I'm very excited uh, because I also want to show you all all the Dreamcast's weird freaking quirks. If you've never seen one, it's my favorite console, again, be mostly because of the ways that it misbehaves and acts bizarre. Um, it was only two weeks, believe it or not, Orpheus. The last time I streamed was Resident Evil 8 uh, two Fridays ago. Uh, but it does feel like a very long time. Uh, so, all right, let's head on over to, there we go. This is where the game is gonna be in a minute. What's a Dreamcast? Uh, the Dreamcast is Sega's final console. Um, it was their like, last shot at saving the hardware division of the company. We're gonna bring it all together. We're gonna get the boys together, get the gang back together. We're gonna put together a real caper, a real excellent console. Uh, and it did not save Sega at all. Um, <laughs> they stopped making consoles after the Dreamcast. Um, but, uh, okay. We're literally, oh boy, tea time. Thank you for sounding the little pig for your hundred bits. Uh, we are on a hype train. Oh my God. There's so many, I forgot how many flashing things there are all the time. Um, we are literally going to turn the Dreamcast on like about three times just because there are details here I want you to catch. And, is this irritating? Yes, it's extraordinarily irritating, but I need you, I just need you to understand. So first, just listen, it makes the best noise. It makes the best noise when you actually turn it on. There we go. Yeah, that's supposed to say new signal over a blue screen of death, believe it or not. Uh, in order to, I'll show you all in a minute. Uh, in order to get this old, like, CRT, uh, old old TV type of console. Uh, I need the nest of wires and connectors I had to put together here uh, to connect this to an HDTV. It's insane. Um, you'll see here another quirk of the Dreamcast, which is really fun, which is that uh, after a certain point, uh, they always forget the date, and every time you turn it on, they'll ask you to put in the date again because they're incapable of remembering. So um, we're gonna skip this part. It's 1998 again, baby. Let's go. Uh, but we're actually, uh, we're going to do this one more time. And I need, I need you all to like really listen to the star of the show here. So I'm literally, I'm putting the microphone and I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to be the cameraman for a minute. I'm going to move this microphone. The Dreamcast is getting the microphone. The Dreamcast's uh, big moment in the sun is here. And uh, here, so you can see, uh, some of the, the mess we got here. This is the Dreamcast. It's ready for its big moment. This is the impossible nest of wires it takes to plug in a Dreamcast in the year 2021 to any kind of HDTV. Uh, it's a nightmare uh, that I'm very proud of because it took me a year to figure out. We are going to, uh, it's older than half the viewers. Oh my God, 
big brother. Uh, oh, I just realized the desktop audio is off, so you never even heard the boot up noise. All right, so we're you're going to see this baby take flight. There are three distinct noises I want you to pay attention for. The insane, like, airplane noise of the fan going. It's going to be screaming the entire time we're using it. It is, I, it is old and tired. The disc is a skipping, and it's just going to get worse once we start the game. <laughs> That's the Dreamcast experience. Here's the last kind of neat thing about the Dreamcast. I'm actually going to move the noise sensors back here. Um, the last kind of bizarre thing about the Dreamcast that you don't get uh, when you play this game uh, now in like one of its many like re-releases is the memory card is in the controller. It's called a VMU, a virtual memory unit. And it has a screen. Your memory card is a little game. You can literally take this out and like play games connected to. Oh, that's very loud. You can literally take that out and play games connected to your Dreamcast games. It's very, very weird, and it's going to show different images while we play. Uh, we are also definitely watching this intro because it is so over the top, and it tries so hard, and the song that plays is just mm, purest butt rock. Look at him! There's the boy. How's the volume? Is it too much? I know. Oh my god, this is Crush 40. That's the band that did this. They were a band that Sega made just for making music in Sonic games, and they did release their own album, and I do own it. And it is, <laughs> it is all this for like 12 tracks in a row. I can't even tell you, I don't, how old was I when this game came out? In fact, I can tell you because I also have the Prima's official strategy guide, like I did with Mario, um, which probably says, 1999, I was, Select your card. ooh, that's a little loud in my ears. Yeah, I was nine years old when this came out, and this was life-changing for me. This was the single coolest thing I had ever seen in my life. Oh, I didn't exist yet, dude. Well, let me tell you about the before times, the 90s. Uh, jump into file two here. As you can see with like those letters, the thing about Sonic Adventure that people don't like about it, and I love about it, even when it's bad, is that there are six playable characters, so you don't actually spend very much of the game playing as Sonic. Uh, it makes it pretty ideal for the streaming structure, which I like, because we can basically uh, some of these characters we can bust through in a single stream. Sonic himself might take two streams. Uh, but um, that we can, you can kind of have like a full adventure in each one, which is nice. Select the character. Here we go. Oh, there's the boy. If you only ever played this game on um, the PC re-release, um, this is actually true. This is going to sound very uh, overly defensive. Uh, this game is literally just better on the Dreamcast. Like there are a bunch of weird collision errors that happen in like the PC and PS4 and Xbox uh, ports of this um, that just aren't in the original Dreamcast one. It has something to do with the Dreamcast weird processor. I don't know what it is exactly. This game also has a plot it was a plot that made me very emotional as a child. Uh, might make me emotional again, and is full of wonderful voice acting like this. this is happening. Huh? Oh yeah, this is the one with Chaos Starbuck. What's up? Oh, 
oh, there will be chow. We're we're gonna we're gonna be popping in on some chow today for sure, for sure. You play games for the plot? I sometimes I do. That was probably sarcastic. I'm realizing because I'm a plotman by trade. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Look at them. Look at how blocky they are. In 1999, this blew my mind. I was not okay. Lock on target, men. Ready? Fire! Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Retreat! All personnel, fall back! As <laughs> having experience with the nostalgia, I'm so glad. Me too. Oh, yeah. There are probably huge chunks of this game I could recite. I played this so many times. In fact, just in terms of like how long it is versus how long I've liked it and everything, I would not be surprised if it turned out that this was the game that I had beaten the most times in my life out of any game. So there's the goo monster. Here we are running around literally too fast for the camera. They were really trying to make Sonic work in 3D, and uh, it works sometimes. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Got our spin dash, which makes us... Uh, it's, it's different from running, because it makes us move instantly so fast we can't yeah, see ourselves. Play with you some other time. Uh, Dreaming Dew Drops, welcome. He knew the goo man is how the Ruby 7 looks in my brain now. I can't say chaos uh, had no effect on my conception of the Ruby 7. Come on, you big drip. Where are you going? Come on, you big drip. You know what we call that? That's pathos, baby. He's looking in the drain. You know he's worried. He's feeling it's the emotions. Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Ooh, I'm ready. Ooh, I'm ready. All. All of the music in this game is so good. It's all dumb butt rock, and it's all so good. While you're listening to how ridiculous the music it is, please remember that some of your most emotional moments in the Penumbra I probably wrote to this soundtrack. <laughs> you define butt rock it's you know i don't even remember where i heard that term from um but i think it's just like really over the top like crunchy guitar sound the uh and like all about speed and loud wait can't tails fly yeah but not very far that's why he's got the uh that's why he's got the aeroplane here we are this is sonic adventure and now the level's a little bit bigger so pick up the rings there we go. And we pick up little animals when we <laughs> defeat the enemies, which is very strange and uh, a little hard to explain right now, but we're going to get there. Bing. Uh, but we're here to go fast, so we're just going to zoom. Yeah, and this is uh, the first level of the game, and a lot of people think this is the best level of the game, and as much as I like this game, I'm not sure they're wrong. Uh, this level definitely, like, fulfills the promise of Sonic Speed the best. Ooh. There he goes. Got our big dumb loops. This is the moment that they, like, used to show this game off uh, as, like, a, a technical marvel back in the day like to sell th this is the moment that sold dreamcast it's the reason my dad bought one <laughs> the 
And you know what? It still rips. It's still cool. Like, it's kind of old, obviously. But, uh, it's still sick. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Starbuck. So, if you've never seen a Sonic game before, uh, they started off in 2D. Um, this is the first Sonic game in 3D, and literally figuring out how to do Sonic in 3D was very tough for them. But the thing that most Sonic games have in common is there's an emphasis on going really freaking fast. Um, there are rings to pick up. Every 100 rings you get, you get an extra life. Uh, but when you get hit, you lose all of your rings. Um, so it's a little silly, because you because uh, one ring is worth as much in a boss fight as 200 rings. Um, but it's also kind of neat, because if you don't get hit, it's kind of cool to see how high you can get. We've got our speed shoes. We're going fast. Pascal, welcome. That orca. Give me the seal. Give me the seal. And it's just all these dumb loops and twirls. So there's something that I want to show you all here about this level that I think is extremely funny. They're trying to teach you how to use these jump pads. And so when you use them, Sonic does this crazy matrix stuff, right? Boom, 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 boom. Flipping around like it's nothing. Let's go back down. And let me show you something real quick. So we just hit that spring. And then we hit that spring, and we're good. The, the like, insane matrix jumps are not necessary. Sonic just does them because they look neat. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is the game with City Escape. I like Sonic Adventure 2. It definitely has more stuff in it, but I'm definitely of the opinion that 1 is the better game. Yeah, not bad. Wouldn't you, do, you just look cool? That's true, actually. Uh, when I when I was a young lad, I wanted to be Sonic. Hey Sonic, long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. Tails voice actor kills me. You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharged. You've got to come over to my workshop, Sonic. The mouth is so funny. I've got to show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go. Yeah, so Void Tea Time, to answer your question, that was Tails' theme song. Every character has a theme song that follows them through their story. And uh, that one was Tails's. <laughs> and so we're, we'll be hearing that song a lot, actually. Uh, anyway, we uh, could go to the Mystic Ruins, but first, we gotta see what's up here. Uh, and the answer is, it's the best part of this game. Uh, this is on a Dreamcast memory card that uh, has uh, already had a Sonic Adventure save file on it. So these aren't gonna be uh, brand new chow but these are the chow and they are these little precious blue babies that you raise like your children look at him look at his terrible mouth 
Look at him. I love him. And then you give them the animals. So I'm gonna, you're gonna be friends with a penguin. And then look, he's got penguin feet. And I'm gonna give him an otter. He's got otter, he's got otter hands and feet. Look at you. Just full on otter until I give him the seal. See what happens when I hit him with the seal. He's got the little tail, it's adorable. Now that's what I call seal. And the neat thing is, uh, you can also feed them coconuts off the trees if this one wants to fall. Um, and what's cool is that the animals that you give them kind of improve their abilities. So right now, this guy is just a little baby. Um, but we've given him a bunch of swimming creatures. Uh, so let's check real quick. See, this little guy can't swim because he's good at running. He can run really fast. This guy can swim because we gave him so many little swimmy things. And it's just really neat. It's super cool. Uh, and there's an area over here that we might go to later where you can um, you can race the chow uh, and do little competitions with them. Um, and something here that is only in the Dreamcast version that I'll sh that I will show you later uh, that like the short version is you literally take one of the chow and you put them inside the memory card inside this little screen that I showed you all before, and then you can take the memory card out and play it like a little Game Boy and go on an adventure with your Chow. It's very weird. It's like a little idle game. And then when you bring the Chow back to this game, they're like stronger. Oh, the baby's fine. And then, are you? No. This little guy wants to swim so bad, but it's just not in the cards, my dude. I believe we can also name them if we bring them over to the uh, to the memory card over there. That baby's not drowning. Look at him. He's fine. He's taking a nap. Um, yeah, the last thing about the Chow that is really cool is that, like, as they grow up... No, where'd he go? disappeared and then reappeared behind me and just made that <laughs> killing me it's so good <laughs> anyway you give them things and they grow up and they like evolve so like one that you've been feeding a lot of birds will turn purple and grow wings and things like that oh my god <laughs> play through as Sonic first um, and then we can talk about playing as a different character unless people uh, at some point during this stream like really want to check out Tails we can check out Tails um, but Sonic's playthrough is kind of like the default playthrough and everybody else's is sort of a riff on that so it might be useful to see Sonic first yeah the one in the Knights game on the Wii wasn't good was the big problem there was nothing you could do with the little babies like you couldn't you could, you could basically just show up and look at them, and that was it. And that's neat, but, like, they're fine without me. You know what I mean? I, li I like that I, I like – I was about to say I like that the Chow need me, and that's something that I might need to examine within myself. Oh, another good noise. Just listen to the controller, the, uh, the shoulder button. It's so awful. I love this thing. Here we go. 
If it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Silence! I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world! The music's not supposed to do that. Something weird is happening. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got big plans, and now I'm gonna put them to work. No, the Dreamcast is no also good. freaking now out. what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere, or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force, the hard way. What happened to the music? Is the disc scratched? This is a CD. You have to worry about that kind of thing. There's definitely supposed to be a lot of music playing right now. And that thing that just started playing is not the music that's supposed to be playing. What is happening? Okay, now we got music. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the experience of using a Dreamcast in 2021. Like, when I said it took me a year to fix this thing, I was not kidding. There were just so many problems with it. And then I moved, and then when I moved, I, like, put it in a box, and then, and, like, took it back out and tested it, and it didn't work again, and I was devastated. And I brought it to, there's an old game store very close to where I live now, um, that I would love to shout out, because they do great work, but I would rather not say where I live. Uh, but there's an old uh, game store that I brought to and I was like hey can you help me out with this and the dude literally just like blew into the controller port and he's like you're good <laughs> just and we turned it on it was fine the boss battles are, are kind of autopilot in this game like you see you get hit but, you, but they go so slow you've got plenty of time to pick up rings you're just kind of waiting for Eggman to let you hit him. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. A very haunted console. Oh, that loading screen's not supposed to be that long either. Disc, are you gonna hold out through the stream? Well, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> oh no! That song is supposed to play. It got stuck again. That's Eggman's theme, and it rules. That's too bad. Isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh yes. It's okay, I'm gonna I'm literally gonna play Eggman's theme in the background. <laughs> Just so that you get it. That's more like it. Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos, let's find another emerald, shall we? No. He keeps trying to start playing. Sonic, we can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform, so... It's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? There we go. Starbuck, to answer your question, uh, so he, this was the game where they transitioned him from Robotnik to Eggman. The, the story behind that for everybody else is that in Japan, he's always been called Dr. Eggman. Um, but when the first Sonic games were brought to America, they renamed him Dr. Robotnik. Uh, for who knows why. And eventually they wanted to um, 
like get the names the same again. So in this game, his real name is Robotnik, but everybody who's making fun of him calls him Eggman. And within a couple games from here, they'll just cut out the making fun of him part, and everyone, including him, will call him Eggman. <clears throat> here we go. Oh, also, in this open world, you can talk to people, which we aren't going to do very much, but there are a lot of people in here with dialogue. Hey, this is stone I found. You're not going to take it away, are you? Bye, bud. We need this to get into the next level. It's not a stone, it's a key, and the key is floating. I need to pull down some blinds somewhere because uh, it's hard to see me. And then we'll go to the next level. Give me one second, everyone. Unfortunately, the bright lights coming through the only window without a light, so we are out of luck. It's just going to be bright. Let's go. It's Windy Valley. Oh, Dreamcast, you going to hold out, bud? There we go. So one of the things they did to make Rainy Sonic That's going to happen a lot in this game. This game is very uh, glitchy, and like I said, it's bad. Uh, <laughs> so you're supposed to bounce off that thing when you hit it, we just kind of went straight through it. Uh, oh, yeah, no, Pascal, this song does rip. This song is called Windy and Ripley. Just to prove to you all that I do listen to the soundtrack way too much. Vaguely hard to hear me. All right. Somebody asked me to turn the volume up. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that is balanced a little better. We're running on wind. It doesn't make any sense. This is 1999, man. Sonic's into trampolines. Uh, you see the game slowing down right about here? <laughs> Having a little trouble, bud. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the music is loud, but the talking is soft. Yeah, I know. I need to project more. They're doing live show rehearsal in the other room, so I just don't want to talk too loud. Jump on panel number one. Now we're going up through a tornado. This blew my tiny mind. Honestly, this blows my today mind. This is still cool as hell. Ooh. Yeah, they're rehearsing in the other room. There are some surprises in this one. Uh, that you won't get from me under any circumstances. Um, but there's lots of things about this one that you all don't know yet. And I'm very excited. I'm really happy with how this is coming out. First part falls on my birthday. Funny that you say that, Fallen from Insanity. Second part falls on my birthday. How do we get tickets? I don't think they're on sale yet. Um, I am not the person to ask. Basically, once we hit the part in the process where I have written the script and I hand it over, uh, they don't they don't talk to me again until uh, like the tech before we, we start. Uh, so if you have questions, of, so I, I honestly have no idea where they are, like uh, promoting and managing everything. Um, but my guess is that Harley or 
Can I say if it's going to be individual tickets for each part or one ticket for both? It is going to be individual tickets for each part because each part is the length of a full show. Oh, it absolutely is a season finale episode. The only reason that Promised Land wasn't the end of season two was because Lady of the Lake didn't make any sense as a season finale for Second Citadel. That's Windy Valley. We're just running. Yes. See, the problem is when I'm back here, we don't have the glare, so I can see, which is neat. Um, yeah, <clears throat> but uh, I, ca I can't hold the microphone and play at the same time, which is too bad. Seeing is one vital part of video games, although I've played this game enough times that I just beat a lot of Windy Valley not looking at it. Uh, where are we going next? We are going to... So the part of the game that I'm skipping for you all, because uh, because I've seen it plenty of times uh, and it's not all that interesting, is in my experience playing this game, you spend a ton of time just like lost in these overworld areas. Literally, the reason I own that player's guide uh, is because I couldn't figure out how to get to that level we just played as a nine-year-old boy, and I needed to buy the player's guide to figure out how to play level two. But it didn't stop me from playing level one over and over again for a week before my, uh, my mom brought me out to look for the player's guide. All right. Oh, Sonic. Be careful, be careful, bud, be careful. Uh, there's this little pink fairy who just tells us where to go sometimes. Somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. What's up with that girl? She's been standing there all day just staring into the burger shop. These people live lives. Lives that nobody cares about because their writing isn't interesting or good. But they're out here. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> you get power-ups in this game too. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. So this is, is a, probably more of you have seen Sonic Adventure 2 than 1. In this game, you have to charge up the light speed dash and it takes forever, so we'll almost never use it. But you can just follow chains of rings like that, which is pretty sick. This is a gold egg. Um, can I show you all what we do with the gold egg? I'll show you all what we do with the gold egg uh, if I can figure it out again. Uh, oh, yep, that's it. Okay, uh, I'll show you all what we do with the gold egg after we do the next level. Uh, or after we have some more animals to bring back to our little chow. Just look at him wig out. Look at him just bounce up into the ceilings. This game is so dedicated to going so fast and like only kind of dedicated to... Oh, actually, we should go back and pick something up real quick. Um, it is so dedicated to going fast and only kind of dedicated to being a good video game. Like, there are moments where it could clearly take that or leave it. All right, we are going to get a power-up for the light speed dash that makes it actually usable. We are 
the clipping and getting stuck on the stairs. There we go. The drum and drum. <laughs> this is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Starbuck, thanks for joining us while you could. How'd I do that on the first try? I don't know. I acted really cool about it, but I was freaking out. I mean, I'm going to be real with you all. I was totally freaking out. <laughs> that usually takes me like 10 tries. Boop the button with our nose. So everything you've seen in this game so far, okay? Everything you know about going fast. Throw that all out of your head because now we're playing pinball. Get the Chaos Emerald. Let me show you the idea behind this level because it's well and truly bonkers. Here, so we're going to pick up some rings. You know, you know how you play the slots. You just hit the slots and the rings come out. So we're going to pick up some rings. We're going to pick up some more rings. And then, you know what? Let's go to the bank, and we're just going to store all these rings so we don't lose them. That seems like the responsible move to me. So let's go in here. Um, there's the Chaos Emerald. We can't reach it by jumping. Uh, but what happens if we step on this switch? Uh, it shakes the rings out of me, and they fill up this room. So uh, we need to <laughs> earn so many rings in this casino that we fill up that room Scrooge McDuck style and climb up to the uh, and climb up to the chaos. Emerald. There are two pinball games that you can do uh, with that. There's one that is cool to look at, and one that's good. Um, actually, no, the one's cool to look at is also also good. So let, let's do let's do the duller one first. It's a slot pinball. And I'm not, we're just playing kind of, uh, kind of bad pinball right now. And that's what we're going to be doing for a little while. This level's kind of long because you need something like 500 rings. <laughs> yep, sure is pinball. Don't get me wrong, I love pinball. There we go, hit those slots. Oh, so close. Get in there. The music right now was just a bunch of jazz instruments taking turns freaking out for no reason is out of its mind. No! So we'll play this one a little longer, but then we're going to go hang out in the other one because that one is the real trip. Exhilarating. 83 rings. All right. That slot pinball uh, is not great. Oh, no, I goofed it. Oh, I got too big for my britches, everybody. I got too excited. If you win less than 100 rings in one of the pinball games, they send you down into the freaking sewers and you have to climb back out. So we're gonna run through the sewers real fast. On the bright side, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some animals for our chow buddies. There's another animal, where'd he go? Come back here, bird.
this is an okay way to get rings. Uh, you would hope that if they're going to make you walk through this whole area and risk you losing them, uh, it would be better. But uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's devastating. Oh, remember that sick 190 rings we had a minute ago? Remember how it was taken from us too soon? Uh, Reef Sharkivist, thanks for joining us. Welcome back. That's invincibility. That's a bubble. And that's a ladder. Sonic, what are you doing? Do you feed them the animals? No, they like cuddle the animals and learn from them. Look at this. Finally, you could take a shower as Sonic the Hedgehog. This game rules. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so, so dumb and I love it so much. Every progressively dumber thing about this game, I like more. Let's go do card pinball. This is the wild one. This is based on Nights into Dreams, which is a game I'll probably stream someday. It's a game for the Sega Saturn, which is the Sega console before the Dreamcast that nobody bought. Uh, and the Knights uh, table is basically poker in this, uh, but uh, Knights is a super surreal game about a warrior who lives in the dream world, uh, and we're going to be traveling into the dream world. Uh, it gets more psychedelic than I would say I typically expect poker to get. Yeah, the knight, the uh, the main character of knights, knights, is uh, canonically gender neutral. go all right so how do we how do we do the weird thing that's how we do the weird thing we got to go up there so i'm not really paying attention to the poker cards um because this first area for the table is definitely not the best there is a much better place for us to make our money that involves taking a trip on the wild side. The other thing that obviously you can't tell because you're not playing is that, oh, here we go. All right, so now we're in hell. Uh, and this is the Knight's Pinball Table. And if I, uh, drop it like that uh then this happens and uh this is a pretty long cutscene. <laughs> uh but we get to look at this now so that's nights into dreams and uh sega at their best was so completely out of their minds and i love that era of them so much like dreamcast era where they were doing like samba de amigo and jet set radio um god what else uh monkey ball is a little later but monkey ball is like some of the same teams i want to get back up to hell though please sir i just want to go to hell So close, are we going to hell? We're not. So I think we need 500 rings total. Might be 300, not 500, I'm not sure. It's probably 300. Mm -hmm. 
Whew. There's something about Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball is wild. I uh, I know Sega recently announced that they're trying to bring back some of those old characters and like franchises, and that's very exciting for me. I just I want Sega to get back to all the super weird stuff they were doing. Let's get a two pair. Thank you for the two pair. We are gonna go up to 500 just in case. Because what we don't wanna do is get back in the pinball machine. The music is really good. This music is straight from Nights into Dreams. Oh, I got that pair. That's, oh uh, wow. One pair is not a hand in poker, but I, I really appreciate that. I guess it is. There we go. All right, we're back in hell. There's like another cutscene thing I can activate here that I want to see if I can get. I can't, and we're back. <laughs> well, we're going to do one more trip through here. Uh, in this upside down, right side up world. And uh, then we're going to be on our merry way. So close. Come on. There is so much happening. This uh, this game is aggressive. <laughs> okay. And I, I you know from here I could go, but I'm I'm just seeing I'm seeing this three of a kind building up and it's just driving me wild anything else here no I just gotta finish the hand three of a kind we'll take it <laughs> filthy rich what is that number well the prop well, I was gonna just let it fall but now I want to know Ball, don't fail me now. Oh, come on, pinball. We've had some good times. Don't you remember me? It doesn't remember me. There we go. Time to deposit our filthy lucre. There we go. Yes. We don't get to swim in them. We just get to run on them. Sonic's too fast. Yeah, not bad. He's also way past cool. that is. I wonder if we need to get that. This next level rules, actually. <laughs> I feel like way past cool is a thing Sonic used to say in the cartoons. <clears throat> Not again! Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! Why is it this oh, no, one don't. music track it hates? Oh, geez. have my backup Eggman's theme. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. He's way past cool. It's definitely something Sonic used to say in the cartoons. <clears throat> oh, man. What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. And that guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one. And that's not good. Come on! Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. <laughs> Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. All right. What 
do we need? What do we need? Well, I said, all right, we got some animals by accident. We weren't supposed to. That means that we can go get the golden egg, and I can show you what the golden egg is. <laughs> I think Peter and Ray have stole the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> It's actually a common misconception. Peter Nerev did not steal the Chaos Emeralds. He uh, he stole the Dragon Balls, and he used those to make a wish for the Chaos Emeralds. Don't ask me why this is this puzzle. I don't know. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not. Oh no, never mind. That's not the dude. Hang on. Oh, I goofed it up. Sorry, sir. Please forgive me. It's over here, I think. That was a solution I really wanted to work as a child. There we go. Pick up this big rock. I think that's a statue of a man. Oh, he's gone. X-Files theme. The Chaos Emeralds would absolutely be a class X radical, so would the Dragon Balls. This dude is just right there watching me steal from him. Time goes on and everything changes. Running the antique shop is my way of fighting back, I guess. Later, bud. Thank you for the egg. the camera is making you nauseous uh the good news is you're not alone <laughs> it's awful y'all all right y'all see what the gold egg is it's kind of exciting we're taking it to where the chow live we're gonna put it down we're gonna pick it up and we're just gonna nuzzle it. We're just gonna rub our cheek against it for a little bit. <laughs> and then we're gonna put it down. There he is! This little golden chow. This is our baby boy. I'm gonna give him lots of birds and he's just gonna be a golden flying buddy. swimming one. Why is it that the running one, like, insists? Oh, another thing about the Chow Garden that I have not said yet, and you may not have, uh, you probably haven't noticed, but is another hilarious thing about this game. The, um, the button for pick up the Chow and, like, pet it and do nice things to it is exactly the same button as the, oh, okay, buddy. I mean, if you really want to swim, I don't have to give you the bunnies. Here, you like to run. Um, it's exact the 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 button for pick up and be nice to the chow is exactly the same button as uh, turn into a ball of spikes and go extremely fast. So uh, it is extremely likely, in fact inevitable, that at some point we are going to send a chow flying across the room. And there's just very little we can do about that, unfortunately. get some food for the new baby. Uh, and I need to take a quick, like, five-minute break. I'll be right back, and I'm tell you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just for you. Just for you, I do this. Uh, I'm just going to disable my webcam uh, and leave it on this screen, uh, and you all can just, like, hang out and watch uh, the chow do their thing. Let me turn the camera. Craft creature, thank you for joining us while you could. We're just going to watch them do their thing. Uh, 
and I'm going to turn off my cam for now. I'll be back in about five minutes. Thanks, everybody.
Yo, have you guys been good? Hold up. Uh, that was supposed to be a cool thing, right? There we go. Then I turned my camera on. I forgot that he was going to talk at you the whole time, and I'm so glad he did. I'm so glad that <clears throat> Sonic kept you company. Um, that entire time while you were watching the chow, also, they aged. Oh, look at him. He's dancing. They aged, so they're all, like, closer to evolving now, which is kind of neat. Love them. Hi, everybody. Oh, Sav, hello. Welcome. Oh, I, yeah, poof, poof. I gotta play that alert again because I wasn't here for it. Sav, thank you Ugh, for the sub. Hey, you kids better be good. All right, now we're gonna do Ice Cap, which is the next Sonic level. <clears throat> gotta go in this alley. We gotta pick up this mysterious key, the ice stone. It looks like a key. Maybe I can use it in the Mystic Ruins. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Isn't that convenient? That's just where we're headed. So, again, the VMU, while we're playing, sometimes during cutscenes, it's the Sonic logo. This is great television. Then, sometimes it's just Sonic's face. And sometimes it's a little chow walking around. And I couldn't tell you why. I honestly, I couldn't tell you what make, I couldn't tell you what the little chow walking around means. <laughs> train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, we hit 100%. Oh my god, I have to get a VR stream set up now. It's not in that headspace. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. That's... I... I... I just connecting the dots of what that means oh my god thank you so much for all of your subs and for all of your support while i've been doing this it, it means a lot <clears throat> i know i haven't done it in a few weeks but like i have really missed it uh i've just been uh been going through some stuff uh and it'll probably be a little while yet before i can really stream super regularly um but i'll be fine i'm confident in that it's just a pain in the butt uh, and I'll be back in full force, I think, in the summer. Time for Kevin to make us a little car sick on stream for us to watch. I already did one VR stream. It was the one that uh, that Harley came on. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't get seasick. It worked out pretty well. So this is Ice Cap, and uh, this section with climbing on the ice is very silly. So, so far I would say, in like Windy Valley and uh, <clears throat> Emerald Coast, this game has shown what it, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't supposed to fall. Hey everybody, is there another way up? I wasn't. I need help. Oh, do I do have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, all right. Claim me that. There we go. So, all right. So, in the first two levels, this game shows <clears throat> it, it's itself at its best, right? Big open areas to run in. And then the third level, it gets weird, and you're like, oh, haha, funny joke, right? Let's let's get back to the real stuff. Uh, and Ice Cap is more like what the rest of the game is like, which is, like, it, everything's very cramped. Uh, this is not a great area for a fast character like Sonic to run around in. Uh, the camera can't keep up. Um, 
and then there's something that happens in the second half of this level that's just so sick that you forgive it of all its sins. Sorry, I get really intense, uh, really weirdly intense during those like icicle bits. The timing on them is a huge pain in the butt. For a very long time when I played this game, I spent most of this level falling off of those. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Wasn't really the pizzazz I was looking for, Sonic. Use the panel to jump. It may even help guide you away. This is where the level gets silly. <clears throat> oh no, I came out of the cave just in time for an avalanche. Good thing there's a snowboard here. <clears throat> we will be on this snowboard for the remainder of the level. Now we can see where we're going, so that's an upgrade. Ooh. We'll be crashing through all the ice. Sonic is receiving no brain damage from running head first into all this ice. He does a flip on the board. What's that? Here comes Sonic down the line doing a... F oh, is that a flip on the board? Look, all right. He's going down. What's he going to do this time? Oh, my God. It's a flip on the board. Sonic, true artist with the snowboard. Just really expressing himself out there tonight. Um, but I think what everybody needs, really wants to know right now is um, do you think Sonic's going to... Give it to the fans. Is he going to show us his signature move tonight? Uh, his signature move, which is just a flip at the board. I think we might get one or two flips at the board. I didn't even flip at that time. Oh. <laughs> and then we fall. There we go. His feet are super not fixed to the board. In fact, I'm not sure they ever touch. Yeah, not bad. <clears throat> that was Ice Cap. We went snowboarding today. Yeah, you know, the reason that it, like, looks kind of like a N64 or, or PS1 game is that, like, part of what ended up ruining Sega for making consoles is that multiple generations in a row, they had this, multiple console generations in a row, they had this bright idea that they were going to release their next generation console, like, years before everybody else's. Um, so, like, while the Super Nintendo 
was still Nintendo's big thing, the Sega Saturn was already out with 3D graphics. Um, the downside of this is that a few years later, uh, when the other groups catch up, their Sega's next-gen consoles look kind of goofy, right? So this is... I was playing this game at the same time that the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation were out. And compared to the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation, the, this game looks insane. Uh, this was a huge jump. Uh, and then the GameCube came out. And this game looks like trash. It doesn't look good. Oh, now we're fighting Knuckles. Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. I just, I can't wait. I can't wait for you all to hear Knuckles' theme. I can't wait. I don't think it's going to happen until we play his chapter. And I need you all to pinky swear that if you haven't heard his theme before, you're not going to look it up between this stream and that one. <laughs> no, it's happening again. I got I to gotta bring in Reserve Eggman theme. Candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! My dedication, that song is so on brand. Yeah, for those of you who jumped in late, every time this song comes on, the disc can't read it for some reason. Um, <laughs> so I'm literally, I'm playing the song from the official soundtrack on YouTube and pausing it when, we're when it's done. <laughs> Oh, we changed songs. Sorry, I was jamming too hard to Eggman's theme. Now we're with the Chaos' is creepy theme. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Uh, yeah, so when Chaos gets Chaos Emeralds, he transforms. This is Chaos 4. And for people who haven't seen Sonic games before, there are seven Chaos Emeralds. Uh, that together they have like incredible amounts of power uh, and usually uh, <clears throat> they are what like Sonic uses to become supersonic and beat Eggman's ultimate bad guy machine it's kind of how it goes so Is that I, I don't think I've ever seen that before that inflatable arm flailing tube band look it is fun to be jumping on the giant lily pads the part of this that's ridiculous is that like we've been in water before in this game and you control fine and for some reason this isn't water it's like gumbo you get it's like very sticky and you can barely move in it and if you stand in it for too long sonic sinks it's very weird you came out of there. There we go. <laughs> Use some other time. That's Chaos 4. Viscous Gumbo. Cornstarch water. Yep. God, that just gave me such specific sense memories of being, like, 
nine. And then we look at the big plane for a while. Just to change things up, we look at the big plane for a while. Behold my floating masterpiece. <laughs> this is the carte blanche. This is not the carte blanche in my head. This theme is the theme of the egg carrier, and it's very good. Now you can play with Knuckles. <laughs> all right. I'm think yeah. I'm thinking let, let's go all the let's go through Sonic. I don't know if we're gonna have time to do Sonic's whole story today, um, but we should be able to do most of it. Oh wait a minute! I'm not supposed to go here. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, we're sp we're chasing the egg carrier because Tails has a plan. They really made me wait here for a second. There it is again. Uh, no, that's not a chipmunk. Uh, that is a uh, pint slice outside screaming because she'd really like to be murdering something right now. I was wondering if that was being picked up through the mic. theme is so good uh oh amy thanks for joining us uh how's pint slice doing pint slice is doing uh absolutely wonderful she's getting uh happier and happier here still just pees like you wouldn't believe in the house which which isn't great but um but she's like more comfortable she freaks out less when like we go out without her It's very nice having her around. Oh, HG, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, so now we're flying this plane, and it's a, and it's a bad shooting game. <laughs> this game very like there was an era in big budget games where your game needed to have 500 pointless mini games in it. This is definitely from that school of thought. Because this is not, this is not even, you haven't even seen half of the pointless mini games in this game yet. There's a decent argument to be made that one of the characters in this game is a pointless mini game. Like one of the main characters that you play as. No, it has been a while, uh, HG. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit before I get back to regular streaming. But I'm happy to be doing it today. 
And also, part of the reason that I'm starting Sonic Adventure today is because I knew that once I started this game, I would really want to play it. And uh, that'll probably make me want to stream some more. So hopefully the next stream isn't so far out. Uh, this wiggling I'm doing, by the way, is I'm trying to get things in the crosshairs uh, because this <coughs> this flying mini game is not good. But if you want to get everything in this game, you do need we did it. Way to, go, to be Chris. very good at it. I've been snapping the Pokemon without Yeah, I've been playing I've been playing Pokemon new Pokemon Snap. One of the things I like the most about that game is I feel no pressure to play it. Right? Like I don't I'm not burning to know what's in the next level, but every once in a while when the vibe hits just right, just sit back and go on a beautiful adventure surrounded by Pokemon. I'm glad this is helpful for you, Riley. I'm glad this goofy, goofy sound effect of Sonic falling to his death. Tails. I hope it brings you comfort. Tails. Because it brings me comfort. You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. I don't know why that little girl's in that cutscene. She doesn't do anything. All right. So that was Ice Cap. Where are we going now? <clears throat> All right, Fairy, what do you got for me? Try going to the casino. Of course, why don't I try going to the casino? The, oh my god, the voice acting and cutscenes are legitimately some of my favorite parts of this game. They're so deliciously bad, and then, like, just moving enough when they need to be. Oh, here's Amy. And speaking of voice acting... And that was Amy's theme, so we're going to be hearing that a lot, too. <clears throat> uh, oh, Amy, th thank you for joining us while you could. No trains are currently in service. All right, that's not it. <clears throat> Sorry I'm clearing my throat so much, everybody. It just feels like I got something caught in it. something I'm supposed to do that has to do with Amy at this point. Oh! That was odd. Um, but I forget. There it is. Couples get it free. <laughs> Q 
can you imagine? Can you imagine that promotion? That sounds like such a nightmare. Cute couples get in free. Just like my dad used to say. Cute couples get in free. This is Twinkle Park. It's the fifth level. Twinkle Park is also weird. Uh, it tries to do what uh, it tries to do uh, what Ice Cap did and was super sick. How how move? How go forward? How how go forward the car? No. <laughs> Sonic fully exploded. I was trying to say it's trying to do like a super sick snowboarding moment up top. But instead, you have to do this weird go kart thing that is awful. We're just gonna. There we go. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Come back! Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we're in the go kart. The more rings we get, the faster we are. Oh! Hug the corner a little too tight there. Oh yeah, no, that was her first death. No. On the purple one. Oh, I said, only asked for one thing in my life. Come on, Sonic. Come on. What you ha you have to go fast, bud. No, Sonic, come on. <laughs> there we go. Oof. This, uh, this game is a little rough around the edges. <laughs> this game is of another time. Uh, and you know what? Actually, even in that time, uh, this, was, this was not really acceptable. <laughs> and that's always just been the thing about Sega that, like, kind of makes me love them, which is that, like... They've always had these like iconic characters in classic moments, and like they still have moments of greatness. Uh, <laughs> and then, also a lot of the stuff they do is just so junky in the weirdest ways. Like this game barely works sometimes. I'm just gonna skip that part. The fact that there's only one woohoo recorded, so it's just the same sound clip over and over again. <laughs> there we go. Now the level starts. <clears throat> With a roller coaster. This song's all right. I don't know who's playing the I don't know who's playing the synth chimes in the back, but you gotta turn them up. Those are so good. Yeah, you know me. When I bowl, I like to hit one of the pins. A real precision shot. And I don't even take any of the prize money. I'll walk away. Oh, Dr. Percival Wyborn, the esteemed Dr. Percival Wyborn. Thank you for joining us. This is Sonic. Go. All right. 
Uh, Kevin, I think you're in the game stuff. Uh, oh, did you see the TT where a person saw a PowerPoint where the presenter was talking about gender symbols but actually showed a chart of unknown Pokemon and they had no idea? That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. What? 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 Yeah, this game is just consistently out of its freaking mind. Uh, and I just, I really, legitimately, I respect the gumption. I really like that this game was like, we're going to do a theme park level, and in order to make that work, um, you're going to ride a rocket-powered go-kart through space, uh, after which you'll ride a crazy roller coaster, uh, and then run through what appears to be actual lines for rides in the amusement park that require you to be able to jump very high three times your height, easily. Uh, and then you're gonna, then so that's not gonna be enough for Sonic, so then you're gonna go on the rooftops. This game's out of its mind. It's that's the best thing about it, honestly. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. I bet that robot hauled butt. <laughs> hauled butt it is important. I think we all need to have a roundtable discussion about how about hauled butt. <laughs> See, my mom will be mad at me if I say ass. So, it, so at home she says it's okay if I say hauled butt. Shoot the animals in my body. Oh, there are so many of them. I didn't know if I was going to make it this time. You are the little swimmy. You are my little running friend. And today's your lucky day. Gonna get you some deer. Get you, well, what is this, kangaroo? Another deer, sir. I bring you entire animals, my small god. Alright, who do we want to be buff? Elephants make them buff. This is adorable, these two. They could do backflips! It's the one. We got a koala. Koala is kind of a wild card in terms of what they make you better as. They're kind of all rounded. Let's give the everything else that's here to this friend. Generally, he's gonna fly, but I think that elephants also give you a little bit of the flying stat. Ooh. 
And also, when you just when you give them a lot of elephants, they're very cute. Get the ears. Ah, uh, no ears, bud. Do I have another elephant? Nope, that one's spent. All right, let's let's feed the children. It's it's supper time, children. Uh, and then we'll be off. You are sitting so good. <laughs> Look at you, you're just like, you're really making a point of behaving yourself to a point where it makes me a little concerned about what you're trying to get away with. How do you know which animals haven't been used yet? They sparkle, uh, but also I think I said before that the um, tenderly pick up uh, an animal uh, to nurturingly give it to your small children. Uh, button is the same as uh, turn into a spiky ball of death button uh, and if you can't pick up oh it's nap time look at them not for not for this boy this boy's doing his workout uh, you see he's growing little points in the back of his head the, what's cute is that the ones that you make the fastest uh, end up looking a little like Sonic He fall down. He's still figuring it out. I fall down sometimes, you know? <laughs> uh, what just happened? Uh, right, okay. There it is. An employee card. I can use this to get into that building for no reason. So, if you were there for the 90s, uh, this level might give you some feelings. Starting with the title. Speed Highway. I was actually thinking of another level in two, but the rest of this level, like the aesthetic of it and everything, and like its version of what the future looks like whips me back in time to the 90s, early 2000s. Ooh. Ooh, you get back here. The butt rocks in full force again. Riley, thanks for joining us uh, while you could. so fast this level is ridiculous Sick, and then we ride a helicopter. <laughs> the number of times this game wants you to just like, just like, be super impressed with it is very funny. Am I gonna play more Sonic games after this one? I have a secret and terrible love for Sonic the Hedgehog, um, so almost certainly yes. I love Sonic Adventure 2 also. I even kind of love Sonic Heroes, even though it's bad. I have a copy of Shadow the Hedgehog I've never played. That would probably be really fun to play on stream. Don't we all, right? I feel like that's the thing about Sonic, for real, is that like, it's bad. It hasn't always been bad, but it has always been consistent or inconsistent. Like, the first Sonic game has some very good moments in it. Uh, it also has some, like, 
genuinely painful music to listen to and like a, at least one level that could just go that is like just frustrating and bad um they've been like this forever right uh but i think there's something fast that like fascinates people about that i think that's like part of the reason that people love sonic is the is the jankiness i think is what i'm trying to say Shadow, the Shadow of the Edgehog gets 300 different, uh, different endings with its branching narrative. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I am. I'm just going. Oh, <laughs> and then he died. And then Sonic the Hedgehog got hit by a car, and you're not gonna believe this, he died in front of God and everyone. who decided hedgehogs go fast they don't really move that fast i think i think the story behind that is that like in one of sonic's earliest designs he was a bunny so his ears would trail behind him but for some reason their problem with that is like if he's a bunny and he runs really fast into a wall isn't he just gonna go splat this was literally the issue with the rabbit design they had uh so they were like he needs something to protect him uh and instead of doing you know like an armadillo they're like uh oh let's give him little tiny hair like spikes that way when he runs into a wall at a trillion miles an hour uh he'll be protected <laughs> all right where are we going now we did twinkle park we did radical highway um what do you have to say to me There, oh god, finding Amy this time is just very silly. They did end up making an armadillo character, that's true. I like Mighty. Mostly because his name is Mighty. <laughs> and that is very goofy. Amy? Oh man, where can she be? Oh yeah, Gold Rogue, I don't, I don't understand the logic either. Dreamy Dewdrops, thanks for joining us while you could. <laughs> I'll cut them off at the Mystic Ruins. You're, you're not going to cut them off, Sonic. They're on the same path as the train you're about to be on. Um, so either they're just going to get smashed by the train or they'll survive somehow, but you'll still arrive first. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to think what the next level is. Hey there, bolt brain. You better get Amy to me or I'll squash ya. What's happening here? Stop! Probably gonna wrap up the stream pretty soon. A couple people are asking when we're gonna when we're just, where we're gonna wrap up. <clears throat> I lost her again. Goldberg, thanks for joining us while you could.
just Eggman knows a groove. What's the next level? Okay, next level is Red Mountain. We could do Red Mountain. The the music in Red Mountain's very good. We're gonna do Red Mountain and I think we're gonna call it there. There are two music tracks in Red Mountain and they're each one of them is better than the other one of them. That's how good they are. It's just sort of an infinite recursive loop of better. So that's a monkey in a cage uh, who's blocking the door to the level. I hope you're ready for this puzzle. Oh no, it's not a puzzle for Sonic. It's a puzzle for Knuckles, I think. This is the ancient light. Try the light speed well, when we get to the, when we get to the and knuckles playthrough now do the light speed attack. we'll talk about that again if only that monkey guard wasn't there <laughs> if only that monkey guard wasn't there have you ever found yourself saying if only that monkey guard wasn't there Music better work in this level. It's gotta. There we go, that's it. Someone gave the person playing this saxophone just handed them a saxophone and they got through some feelings playing that saxophone destroying that saxophone oh that was close <laughs> monkey. I need a lion. I need to teach my children to be strong, to protect themselves. <laughs> Sonic just getting yeeted straight forward by an explosion. We're gonna get a boosty. 25 extra lives. We will not be needing nearly 25. We will almost certainly have 99 extra lives by the time we're done with all of the uh, the playthroughs. Yeah, are you, hey parrots, what's up? You really wanted to hang out, didn't you? So this is one of the two music tracks in Red Mountain. Uh, the other one's coming up, um, and it shows some other cool stuff that Sega was up to in this era. Uh, if you've never heard the soundtrack to Jet Set Radio or uh, or Jet Grind, no, yeah, Jet Set Radio or Jet Set Radio Future, um, you should probably go listen to that because it's insane. It's so good. But 
but along with the silly butt rock, Sega was also just making like cool music in this era. Here we go. Well, now you can't hear it because I got the speed shoes, but it was it was good for that minute, right? Wait, just wait till you hear this one. It's gonna be back in just a sec, everybody. There we go. So good is the thing. make a mashup with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme. You know what? I can near guarantee you that someone has. The mashups that people make with the soundtracks for the two Sonic Adventure games, my goodness. My goodness. what happens next we need to do this next bit <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious guys we're gonna stop after that after this next level guys the in this case the reason that we're stopping after this uh, is because a it's this game at its goofiest again and B uh, it would be very weird to start a stream with it Remember that bad shooter we did before, Sky Chase? Uh, I hope you're ready for another one of those against literally the same enemy. <laughs> this one is a lot cooler, to be fair, but it's so wild that they make you do this twice. And like this is what this is what all the Sega games that I really love are like. Like I think at the parts of Sega that I like anyway, if I had to like summarize what I thought like their deal was, what their vibe was, uh, to to somebody just to give a sense of like the kinds of games that they make, uh, it would uh, probably be something like uh, like tons of style completely busted. Tons of style doesn't work. And so I think part of the fun of these games has just always been like you gotta be able to space out or like enjoy the bad parts for what they are. Um the hard thing is that, like, some Sonic games are genuinely so bad that, like, the good parts are very outnumbered. Are very outnumbered.
now the ship transforms and we do it again. No, what it is about Sega is the fact, it's the fact that they, like, like nobody else, they can double down on a terrible idea. They just love it. wins. You're having a time in there, Fallen from Insanity, all right? And now we fight, uh, what this reveals, what the egg carrier, the egg carrier's super cool, but it does at this point reveal it to be, itself to be just one of the battleships from Star Wars. <laughs> It's like the Playmobil version of one of the uh, uh, battleships from Star Wars. All right, one more just sweet, delicious cutscene. Sky Chase music does rule, though. There's no landing gear in this mode. That's a normal problem for a plane builder to have for a plane. Why <laughs> wouldn't there be landing gear? No, there's no issue. The, why the the wings don't shatter? The wings are fine. Oh, oh, we're having some collision issues. Oh, buddy. <laughs> so this is the other thing, though, right? Is that I also. Like, I, I know this game isn't well made. I know that this is goofy as heck. But, like, I also love it. I love it so much. It's so funny. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It was so nice to come back to streaming after uh, being away from it for a while. Um, I don't know when the next stream will be. I'll, uh, I'll announce it probably that same day. Um, my guess is it would be Sonic Adventure again. I'm going to be real with you. I had a great time. Um, and uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. Maybe I'll see you next time. Have a good night, everybody. A good day wherever you are. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.